Welcome Acolytes back to our archives, as today we will open up yet another holocron. The Star Wars galaxy is one of the most beautiful and terrifying locations ever. From the deserts of Tatooine to the lush swamplands of Dagobah, the Star Wars galaxy has a little bit of everything to offer. One of the most dangerous worlds to date though is that of Felucia the lush jungle lands overrun by fungi and vegetation, which currently house some of the most dangerous creatures in the galaxy. With several systems in the universe being incredibly dangerous to travelers, Felucia is one of the most diverse and intriguing. So stick with us today, students of the Force, and let's explore some of the most interesting and most dangerous creatures to be found on this particular world. First, let's begin with the species which are sentient and self-aware, running the governments, cities, economies, and civilizations on Felucia before delving into the savage savage beasts of the jungle. Governed by the Commerce Guild, most of the native Felucians reside in small farming villages and were largely able to fortify their own villages against the savage lands of the outside. But perhaps the most dominant race present on the planet, aside from the Felucians themselves, was known as the Gossam. Originally native to the region known as Castel, the Gossam were some of the first colonizers of Felucia, and they, in addition to native Felucians, have the most technology on the world. What makes them inherently dangerous, though, isn't necessarily their physical capabilities, but their vast intellects. The Gossam were typically in charge of the governing of the planet as well as the economy, with Gossam Su Mai even serving as the president of the Commerce Guild, which allowed for special treatment to be given to Felucia at the behest of the guild. This grants the Gossam political power and the clout in order to compete with the Kaiuzo. Early in the history of Felucia, several distinct systems sought to colonize and tame this particular world, and seeing as the native Felucians did not have the adequate technological prowess to stop them, many different invasive races were successful in embedding their own populations into the system itself as well as their various cultures. Second to the Gossam in terms of population and survival capabilities are the Kaiuzo, who were initially from the world of Fatron and who were evolved from incredibly dense muscle fibers and some of the sharpest resources known to the galaxy. Bound by a strong sense of honor, the Kaiuzo were incredibly loyal soldiers, who even held their own foothold on the planet of Felucia and controlled their own subsect of its territory. But in addition to this, what are some of the most vicious creatures found in the wild in terms of sheer strength and savagery. Felucia is not a place you would want to go unprotected or unprepared at all. Let's begin with what is known as the Jungle Rancor to prove our point, which is a distant evolutionary cousin to the Rancor that many of us are familiar with. This semi-sentient subspecies, however, evolved differently in order to adapt to the Felucian environment, and received several different advantages as a result. The Jungle Rancor developed thick shells and scales, not too dissimilar from a turtle, adding protection and making them incredibly difficult to kill in comparison to a standard Rancor, though this did not hinder their speed or agility in addition to providing this protection. These vicious rancors are incredibly agile and are among the fastest of the known rancor subspecies, making them incredibly difficult to maneuver and even harder to kill effectively. These rancors were some of the most dominant predators that the world had to offer, but they were far from the only threat within the forests of Felucia. Felucia was largely populated by its own diverse array of birds and rippers, avid hunters who flew overhead and picked off prey from the skies. They often fed on a species known as Gelagrubs, beetles who traversed the woodlands though they were far from the average size of a beetle. In the Clone War, some clones were even known to ride these Geladrubs, who were simultaneously large enough to ride while still being some of the most widely targeted prey in the woodlands. Felucia is also home to its own array of Sarlaccs, which are far more deadly than other areas in the galaxy. Perhaps the most well-known Sarlacc is currently located in the Pit of Carcoon on Tatooine, a particular favorite execution spot for Jabba the Hutt. But Felucia's own native Sarlacc species puts Jabba's to shame. The Ancient Abyss, Felucia's own renowned Sarlacc pit, is home to the single largest known Sarlacc specimen in the known galaxy. This particular Sarlacc possesses a maw large enough to house an entire civilization, measuring around 4 kilometers in length between its teeth and gums, and there was actually a society that was allowed to thrive between the teeth of this one Sarlacc. While several seasoned veterans have learned how to navigate the Sarlacc without being being consumed, it was common for this Sarlacc to routinely devour the aforementioned Rancors on the regular. In terms of the single largest and most dangerous creature known to the planet, very few are able to contend with the sheer size of Felucia's prized Sarlacc. This Sarlacc, however, is one of several and is most notable for its size and likely its age, but there are hundreds of similarly dangerous Sarlaccs across the world of Felucia. Thanks to Battlefront 2, many of you may be thinking that an Acle is actually from Felucia, when in reality they are actually from the world known as Vendaxa. But since they are widely associated with Felucia, I figured we would 
would mention them here. Ackleys were carnivorous predatory creatures, and though they typically lived underwater on Vendaxa, they would come out of the water regularly in order to hunt. They were surprisingly agile creatures, as they scuttled around on their six pointed legs, using an organ beneath their chins to sense the body electricity of their prey. They would then spear their prey with their long claws, biting through them with razor sharp teeth and snapping away at their limbs, or even swallowing them alive with their stretchy stomachs. The Ackley were described as vicious creatures, possessing agile fury and bestial rage. Ackleys were most famous for their bite, and were strong enough to bite through a polearm and smash a stone pillar to the very ground. Ackleys were one of the most famous execution arena monsters, being used in multiple arenas, not just the one only seen in Geonosis. Ackleys were known for their ferocity and insatiable appetites, which made them very popular on Geonosis, not to mention extremely expensive. Surprisingly enough, even Darth Sidious enjoyed Ackleys, as he believed that that they were very similar to the likes of the Sith in terms of ferocity, and even ordered the Imperials to capture one for his own personal zoo. However, it would later be freed and would never make it. Many of them were actually hunted down and killed during the Imperial era, making them exceptionally rare, which is exactly why Sidious desired one for his personal collection. But my friends, what are your thoughts on the exceptionally deadly world of Felucia, and the little addition on the Acle? Which of the three beasts that we discussed today are you most terrified of? And if you were to be hunted by one or encounter one, which one do you think you had the best chance of surviving? As always, my fellow students, thank you so much for visiting our archives today, and thank you for this deep exploration on the world of Felucia and the various deadly creatures that reside on it. As always, may the Force be with you, and hopefully we will see each other soon.